Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Well, you guys asked me to finish all of Alive by Pearl Jam. So uh, we've taken, we've already looked at the entire guitar solo, um, and we did the main riff, which is also the verse of the song, um, in the actually the first lesson of all of them. But now we're going to take a look at the rest of the rhythm guitar parts. So that's going to be like the chorus, the bridge, the uh, kind of the pre-chorus kind of stuff. All right, so now we've got that main riff down. Uh, so I hope you guys know that now. Going into the chorus from there, we have, there's obviously two guitar players here, so they're doing different parts. Uh, the main part would be this. All right, so what's going on there? We're gonna do the other part in a second. Now we have um, this, this uh, basically an F major chord with C in the bass. So you can do like an F major bar, if you know that one, and just you don't have to have the note on the low E string anymore. Just have the bar on the first two strings and the rest of it's just like a regular F major chord. But the fifth string is the lowest string now. To a C major. Then you're gonna add that ninth in there. That's the third fret on the B string, and then back to the regular C major, so hear this. Now while he's doing that, the other one's the guitar player is doing this. So if you have two guitar players, one can play this part. So it's, but by itself, this one probably won't sound as good as the previous one. So if you're just playing this by yourself, just do the first one we did. Uh, tenth fret there on the D and the G string together. Then move up. He plays it, he moves his pinky up to the 12th fret on the G. Play those two notes together. And then to this C major triad up here. That's 10 on the D, nine on the G, and eight on the B string. All right, so now for the chorus that I played at the beginning, um, there's two definitive guitar parts going there too. The main one by far is what I played earlier, just the open chord. But you have another guy voicing those chords higher up the neck, and he also does that little melodic line up there as well. But to kind of combine those and do them as one guitar player, you can just play that melodic line down here. So we have the E major chord to a G. Now really when you get to that G, you don't need the uh, A string in there. So just mute it with the bottom of your, uh, your middle finger. To the D and the A. Those are the four chords. And then you can do the little line, or you can have a second guitar player. So that little line is just three, two on the high E, then five, three, two, zero. And just kind of follow the vocal melody. Fourth fret there, bend a couple times on the G. with the melodic figure right here. All right, so that's the, the chorus riff. It sounds great just playing it like that. All right, now we have the bridge section. Uh, actually, actually, we have a, as we're playing that chorus, I forgot the ending. So that's just up here at the ninth fret there on the D string, 11 on the G, 12 on the B. Now the, the bass player goes up to this note, he plays this note, he adds that note in the bass. I don't believe the guitar player does that until this section coming up. So you can just play this and this back, back to the verse. Now, when we get to this, um, after the uh, second chorus, we get to that kind of jam part where we start with this chord.
So that's starting with the same notes that ended, the same chord that ended the chorus. Same rhythm, and then add the 11th fret on the low E string. Then grab the 9th at the, uh, both on the low E and the A string. Hit those, and then while you're doing that, you're gonna lay the 11th fret there across the B, G, and the D string. So we have this. So you hit those two bottom notes first, then add the whole chord. Now the first time they play it, they they make it a sus chord by adding the 12th fret there on the B string with your pinky. You just kind of do it randomly, and they don't really do it again after the first time. All right, now we, we go down to a kind of a cleaner tone here for the bridge section. And this one's uh, gonna kind of use a little bit of a, some stretches here and a couple of bar chords. Let me play it through it real quick. takes us back to the chorus. So we're gonna start here with this A dominant seven chord. So it's the, um, you can play that with these fingers if you want. Open A, second fret on the D, open G, and second fret on the B. Just from across those four strings. Then the open B string. And then you can grab this. It's really just a D power chord. It's open D string, second fret on the a, G string, third on the B, and grab the fifth fret on the high E string, and you're gonna do this. At the very end, you're gonna grab that, pick that fifth fret there, and come back down to the second string. So we have this. Then start over again. Same thing we did the first time on the A7, and then we're gonna go back to the D, you can do this a couple different ways. That's open D with the second fret there on the G. You can just go up and play the fourth fret on the G and then back. So we have this or the open B string. So we have this. All right, and now we're gonna move up here. So we're gonna basically do this. We're gonna start with a B chord here. This B major chord. Full bar chord there, and then you got the fourth fret on the B, uh, the, on the B string, G, and the D string. Then lift up the pinky. Pick the second fret there on the B string. It makes it a B sus two chord. And now you're gonna keep the bar in your first finger, lift up your second finger. You're gonna have the fourth fret on the G, fifth fret on the B. And you're gonna strum from the low E string, open E, second fret on the A, second fret on the D. So we have this. Then go back to the B major, do the same thing again. Now this time we're gonna go. And what we did here is we did, we strum across that low E, second fret on the A and the D again to the fourth fret, but we didn't have the fifth fret on the, uh, the, on the B string there. We just did this. Pick the B string at the second fret and then back to the G string. So we have this. So all together so far. And 
Let's repeat that. And that takes us back to the chorus. All right, so with the main riff and all the riffs that we just now covered, uh, along with that epic guitar solo, we've pretty much got this entire song nailed. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.